Okay, so I don't know if this presidential suite is mine forever. So we're just gonna check some stuff. No response from the intercom. Uh, what's in the safe? Ooh, let's go ahead and. Nope. Uh. Oh, thank you. That's all mine. All right, let's take everything I can take out of here. Oh, scotch. Mmm, purified water. Nice. Um, okay. I think that's... Oh, what's these? Uh, wine. Wine. Okay. Um. Anything in here worth taking? Vodka, whiskey, wine. I don't care about the book anything in here garbage take that jet uh, what else we got uh, true police stories are any of these books good? No. Um, boop. Don't need a pre-war book. Nothing else, I don't think. I think that's everything back here, right? Is there any other doors? Oh, shoot. Bottle caps. Yeah. Good thing I took a double check. Don't care about that. What is this? Don't know. Boop. Oh my. So much booze. That's going in my other place. I don't care about the apple. Ah, that looks like a sunset sarsaparilla though. Delicious. Delicious. I'm not going to call another grown man delicious. Alright, I think that's it. I think we're... Oh, nope. What is this? Uh, what about this up here? Anything good? Oh, just empty bottles. Okay, that's... Um, all right, Benny's dead. I got the chip. Don't care about the hat. Down to the main floor. And look, everybody still likes me. So, hey, there's the high roller. <laughs> yeah, shipping buddy guard. Okay, uh, first to the Lucky 38 so we can drop off a bunch of stuff. <laughs> and then we're going to go around and do all the things Yes Man said I should do before I bring him back the chip. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments oh, and bestows you. upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Ooh. Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Ooh. Kaisar will not extend this mercy a second time. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. <laughs> nice. Uh, you again. How did you find me here? I am the greatest of Kaisar's Frumentari. It was not a challenge to find you. Nor is this my first visit to the Strip. Why does Kaisar want to see me? Go to him, and you will understand. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. Hmm. Okay. Bye. Um, I Hello. need to go to the 38 first. Um. Oh. Is there a way in on this side? 
So I'd really rather not have to go around. Doesn't look like it, though. Boo! Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get Have over there. Have a nice day. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. Uh, we're going to go inside and go up to my room. And uh, drop stuff off. Want to go to my suite, Victor? Where to, partner? Presidential suite. Okay. We're just going to drop off all of our stuff and then wander around the, the strip for a bit. Okay. There's that. Done and done. Uh, we go back downstairs. High roller suite. Uh, casino, please. Casino floor. Thank you. All right, out we go. And we'll start with, I guess, the Gamora, since we're right here. Excuse oh. me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? What trouble in the tops? Uh, yes. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse... Well, some of us, anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. Yeah. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. Yeah. Uh. And this is where I come in? Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help. Many of whom suffer from hard to diagnose illnesses. Um. <laughs> Dr. Mephistopheles diagnoses a terminal load discussion of caps in this conversation. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. All right, I'll do it. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Nice. That shouldn't be hard at all. Uh, let's do the Gamora. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your weapons with me. You'll get these back on your way out. Uh, right. All right, now that we you have know, checked out Gamora, we need to find the Ultra Luck. I believe that's over here. Oh. Ooh. There's also a vault over there. Ah, ha, ha. I should check that out, too. Uh, ah, there's the Ultra Lux. I found it. Are you... What are you doing, yes man? Why are you out here? Um, is this the Lucky 38? It shouldn't be. Oh, it's the tops. Oh, he's waiting out here for me to come back and talk to him. Got it. So I don't have to go back in. Sweet. Alright, let's check out the Ultra Lux. Beg your pardon, oh. but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Uh. Oh no. Uh, why do you need my guns? I'm afraid those are the rules. If you don't like it, you can take your business elsewhere. Um. Shoot. I hope I don't lose my weapon over this. 
Sure, my here you go. My apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Uh, where did you take my weapon? They'll be handled with the utmost security in our bank. Uh, goodbye. Farewell. Well, hopefully that didn't just glitch me away. Uh, learn about the White Glove Society by talking to one of its leaders. Okay. Um... Hello there. Hello there. Are you a leader? You're not a leader. You're not a leader. Hello. Oh, heck. It's Heck Gunderson. Heck and heck heck. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? Uh, no, I have not. <sighs> Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. My boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Or heck. Uh, so you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Who? Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. California now, way? Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Oh, heck. Uh, why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. Nice. A lot of people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been three thinking, times. Though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. That is true. Uh, you lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the white glove folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. <laughs> Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. <laughs> but that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Yeah. Uh, what business did you have here at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. Ah, But let's rude. just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Huh. Let me help find your son. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least Y'all the beef! At this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Uh, did you say something about a white glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple True. of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Probably smart. Goodbye. I'll be here. All right. Um, I guess we can start with this bartender lady. Greetings. Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour. But they draw twice the attention, too. Uh, that's pretty dumb. Goodbye. Farewell. You don't have information to me. I don't care. Um, let's see. Can I find somebody who's in charge? Are you in charge? No. But you might have info. Marjorie has done a remarkable job managing the restoration of this place. Wouldn't you agree? Mmm... Marjorie, that's who we're looking for? Uh, you're the greeter. We're not dealing with you. The gambler. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. Uh-oh. Did you know this trip's all Uh, okay. Maybe I can just wander around. I can. Oh, oh look, it's the bank. Are you a person? No. 
Ah! Ah ha ha! You might you be someone. Up lately? Hello, Mortimer. How may I be of service, sir? Uh, what can you tell me about your organization? My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The no. White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. But our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. Uh huh. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Hmm. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But I surely like we that can reality. agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. Bruh. Uh, do you have any work that needs doing? No, not from the likes of <gasps> you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. Bro. How dare Indeed. you. I have never felt so besmirched. How dare you all right i have find out more about the white glove by talking to marjorie all right i uh, just gotta find mar Ooh, well that's not how to get to marjorie uh hello chauncey good day uh why is everyone around here dressed up and wearing masks those are all members of the white glove society our founder marjorie gave us all a dress code there's only one rule to it. Uh -huh. In her words, we must dress in such a way that no one can be said to have dressed better than us. As for the mm. masks, I'm not allowed to tell you. <gasps> we're sworn to secrecy. Tell me anyway. Actually, that's not true. That's just what we're supposed to say. I think Marjorie likes them for the mystery they create and the way they make it clear that we're different from everyone else. But you didn't hear that from me. I heard that from you. Uh, where's your mask? Mm, must have forgotten to put it on. How embarrassing. Uh, I am looking for someone. Oh, well, it's a big hotel. You should talk to Marjorie. She's in charge, and she can probably help you find anyone you might need. She usually works at the front of the gourmand. She likes to see how people respond to it. You can get to the gourmand from the lobby here. It's a big set of double doors on the first floor of the eastern side. Can't miss it. That's an awful lot of words. Farewell. Uh, can't do that. So I need a double door uh, at the casino. Uh, uh, picking the door. Yeah, see, that's this is the lobby. Oh, I think that's the double doors he's talking about. Am I correct? Uh, that's the bathhouse. That's the Grimond. Let's look inside the bathhouse first. Sup, homies? How is all the naked goings on? Um, gambler, gambler, gambler. Nobody important. Those are the hotel rooms. We're not dealing with that just yet. But we will. Oh, wrong button. But we will be. Hey guys. Ooh, the steam room. Sup, homies? You got a name? No. No name, no info. That's how this works. Um, okay, let's then check the hotel rooms. And then we'll do the gourmand. Hello, hey. traveler. Uh, hello, gambler. Oh, good. I can just follow you. Thanks, buddy. Gambler. Gambler. Boo. Oh. Traveler. Um. Gambler. Gambler. Is that an overdue book? It is not. Oh, hello. Are you somebody? 
No. Hmm. Seeing a lot of nobodies. Oh. Uh, the bon vivant tweet. Ha ha ha. Si vous play. Um, look at all you people just sleeping like lazy bones. Um, I think... Oh, this door just opens. Oh, uh, but you're a nobody. How about this one? Oh, uh, nope. And um, that's the casino floor. Uh, we're not doing the casino floor. Could have swore there was somebody around here for me to talk to. But I was incorrect. Bathhouse again. La, 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 la. And a gourmand. Are you Marjorie? You are. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Hmm, it's pretty, pretty basic. Uh, do you work here? I do, but one can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. I suppose it is a labor of love if it can be called labor at all. Hmm. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Oh, uh, heck, Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. What business? What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. Mm. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed ramen steak into a delicacy. Philippe, he huh? He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. But a delicacy is just that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. Bum, bum, and bum. if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or a family restaurant. <laughs> so as much as we'd Can't all love that. for there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. I don't know. Uh, I'm looking for someone who went missing here recently this again i thought this was all settled i answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help i could Ooh. i know our reputation hasn't always been spotless but that's An all in the past now how some people can't get over it is beyond me well i For mean the last time the white glove society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason it's written in the charter gross uh, the White Glove Society used to eat human flesh? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Uh, I Though think you're lying. Though we have been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved mm. past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. I don't know. Uh huh. Let's see if that'll work. It's okay. I eat people too. You disgust me. How dare you. You'll kindly mind your tongue or we shan't speak okay. any further. Fine. Who did you talk to about the disappearance? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. <laughs> well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. Or did that she? that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. Uh, is there any way I could talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. 
I had our maitre d' Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. Maybe that's the you room. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. I don't know. I'm investigating someone else. A man. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? I know, what right? What people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. You would think. All right, goodbye. Ta-ta. Ho-ho.